28th birthday to John Lineker here tonight. He comes in ranked number six in the world. Brian Kelleher is 31. He is the taller man by three inches, but John Lineker will have a reach advantage of one inch tonight against Brian Kelleher. All right, now back inside for the particulars to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC bantamweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. A freestyle fighter, fully professional record. 19 wins, eight losses. He stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 136 pounds. Fighting out of cell in New York, USA, Brian Boom Kelleher. And now introducing his opponent. Fighting out of the red corner, a striker, holding a professional record, 30 wins, 8 losses. He stands 5 feet 3 inches tall, weighing in at 136 pounds. Fighting out of Paranagra Piranha, Brazil, presenting the number 6 ranked bantamweight contender in the world, John Hands of Stone Lineker. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Leon Roberts. Leon Roberts, our referee. John Lineker will be 28 one month from today. My apologies on that. The beautiful Camila Oliveira with us here tonight. John Lineker taking on Brian Boom Kelleher. Tonight's fight clock brought to you by Grunt Style. This will defend. John Lineker is in black. Brian Boom Kelleher is in what? Kelleher is a guy, you know, we've been running into him at the hotel and happy, thrilled, oh, yeah. relaxed, loose. He doesn't seem tight or tense, not worried about coming into his opponent's backyard, doesn't bother him at all. That's the power of Lineker, man, those short shots. Kelleher's whole mentality is beat a guy, move on to the next, and that has allowed him to keep this active schedule that we referenced on his walk. Brazilian fans trying to occupy some space in the head of Brian Kelleher. That's easier said than done. Kelleher, not much of a takedown artist per se, but you think that'll be part of the approach tonight? It could be, but it, it, he also doesn't want any panic takedowns. He doesn't want to give any takedowns that he hasn't set up properly, and he's worried about the power of Lineker because that leads to easy submissions. Lineker had won six in a row to set up a fight with TJ Dillashaw, broke his jaw in that fight. That resulted in a 10-month layoff and felt like he needed to shake some of that rust off when he fought Cheeto Vera back in October. But Lineker, 100%. Oh, as he rips the body there. Now he got trouble with the movement, with the versatility of TJ Dillashaw. I mean, who doesn't? Nice. <laughs> a big part of Ooh, the nice hook over the top. And that left hook of Brian Kelleher got John Lineker's attention. And that's been a weakness to his style to me. You saw it against Dillashaw. He doesn't have a lot of footwork options. He tends to come in straight, tends to throw heavy punches, not a ton of head movement. Doesn't set things up with his legs a whole lot. There's that diving take from Kelleher. Ooh. Nice touch on the uppercut there by Kelleher out of the break. I think Kelleher's getting Lineker's respect with his counter shots. <laughs> Lineker will work the head and the body both. He does not discriminate when it comes to his striking attack. Oh! A massive left for John Lineker! Kelleher trying to recover. Knocked him right off balance, but it looks like his head's clear. Trying to wrap up the arms, keep him close with the guard. Just if you're wondering who the Brazilian supports in that, and behind Lineker, 100%. You support this decision by Lineker to stay inside the guard of Kelleher, or do you think he's trying to get back up? You know, it's, it's one of those things where he's got to get back up, and he has to do it carefully. A good, now, see, I can break away and get some space here. This is definitely where I wouldn't want to stay, in clinch position, because I think Kelleher's trying to clear his head. Right. Hard to know the extent to which Brian Kelleher has recovered. Under two minutes to go in the round. Lineker back to work on the body. Spinning back fist now lands for Kelleher. Problem is he's off balance a lot. Kelleher going for some wild stuff, and he's neglecting his footwork a little bit. He's throwing stuff, and he's, he's off balance. You don't want to be off balance against a power puncher. Because I don't know how hard he was hit by that shot that, that knocked him down, but right. could have just been off balance, but certainly looks bad. 
shot from Callahan there. Stop with those desperation takings. Set him up. Well, when you know you got to be in there potentially with John Lineker for 15 minutes, right? Yeah. I think we were expecting we'd see some of that. Yeah. It can't, be, it can't be out of desperation. It has to be sure. set up well because it's just so incredibly dangerous, especially a power punch with short arms. You can uppercut you right off that reach. Right. And with that bobblehead shot, it's over. Lineker truly wants to remove your head from your body. Yeah, that's that's with everything he throws, yeah. too. No oh. save. Great left to Back-to-back left hooks. Then a little bit of body work from John Lineker working here. In the clinch up against the fence, waning seconds of this first round. <laughs> A little separation here now, 20 seconds to go in the round. A lot of fighters in Lineker's position. You get a guy hurt, you landed some good shots, would get away from the body attack. I like the way he stays with it. It keeps him versatile, it keeps Kelleher guessing. He doesn't just head hunt. Headhunted there and landed that left hand. A strong opening five minutes for the prohibitive favorite, John Lineker. Kelleher had his moments as well. Yeah, he certainly did. Look at this. Beautiful shot, left hook right on the temple. You see the legs wobble. Look at his right and then left and just caught him right off bounce. Good shot. But look at him fall straight forward. And here's a back fist, but once again off balance. He has to have his feet underneath him to capitalize when he gets these opportunities. See how Lineker, you know, rushes forward, is vulnerable to some counter shots, but you don't have your balance. You can't use it. Make him uncomfortable. Work your jab. But after the jab. We're out because he's countering right away, and then we're back in right off that. We got to be in out, in out. <laughs> Takedown's not going to be there unless we hit him first because he's yeah. comfortable there. <laughs> time that elbow too. What? Keep your eyes open. Time that elbow. Thank you, Jenny Andraj and Jimmy. To your point on the takedown there, right? Yeah, 100%. Set it up with strikes. If you reach for it without hurting him first, he's going to defend or worse. We highlighted the knockdown ratio for John Lineker off the top of this fight. He's already got a knockdown of Brian Kelleher here tonight. What is it going to take to knock John Lineker down? I mean, that is, that's a hell of a chance. It's like knocking down a tree stump. Yeah. Also, just the way he's built, really solid. Yeah. Calling all UFC fans, it's been 25 years in the making, and for our 25th anniversary, we want to celebrate you, the believers, the faces of UFC, by telling your story. Go to UFC25years.com and share your story now. I'll share my favorite John Lennon story. I mean, I'm, I'm, careful. Now. I'm, careful. I'm an employee. <laughs> Still, you know. Oh, man. Always set up by the body shot. Right. Body shot with the right, left hook over the top. And just Keller just hasn't found a way around it. And see how Lineker just doesn't physically give you any space. He goes after you, and you're off balance, and you're trying to find your own offense, but he's always crowding you. After he strikes, he crowds you and takes away the range that Kelleher needs to get back in the fight. Those are good tactical decisions. It's easy to kind of look at Lineker and think about a brawler and think he's knocking guys down. He is doing that, but look at the effectiveness of his combinations. Look how he's controlling the octagon. This is a well-coached fighter. Kelleher had a few strikes land in there, but largely this has been Lineker's round, at least early. Kelleher's got to get his respect back. He's not backing up. He's got to give Lineker a reason to back up. Well, this matchup had bonus money written all over it, and we have got a fight, ladies and gentlemen. Just over three minutes to go here, round two. Decided advantage in terms of the significant strikes landed for John Lineker, but Kelleher has had a few moments constantly switching those stances as Kelleher. And that's 
not only the build really helps him, is the body shot. He's already low. He doesn't need to drop his level to sink that body shot. I knew pretty much from his regular stance. The only reason Tyson was so good at working the body is compared to the short heavyweight. Once he's in there, he can sling that body shot, not leave himself that vulnerable. He's already short, already down there. It's great point. Some of these body shots starting to take their toll on Kelleher. Oh, Kelleher loading up, but he's out of range. Two and a half to go round two. Resets, puts the physical pressure back on before he starts throwing again. Keller goes up top, nothing doing. Lineker's guard up. Head body goes Lineker yet again. Left hook right on the money every time. Remarkably, still two minutes to go in the second round. You see now, killing his hands and elbows are flipped down a little bit, trying to protect his ribs. In this second round, it's those body shots when the first round start catching up with you. It's hard to take a full breath. Lance starts slowing down. It sucks. Oh, no, no discipline back to work on the jab. So double it, triple it up. Keep it in Lineker's face. Just one's not going to do it. A little apology there for something. Lineker with power in both hands. And again, even when it's partially blocked, some damage being inflicted by John Hands of Stone Lineker. It speaks to his, his heavy handedness that he has so many knockdowns. I mean, you can right, hardly right. block it. Doesn't matter, just flings you to the ground. And knockdowns at flyweight and bam. Very rare. Beautiful striking display by Lineker. Smiles. Went with a haymaker there. Trying to punctuate that combination. You can do that when you're winning and you're winning and landing power punches. You smile a lot. It really, really feels good. Yeah. You stride something. It's great. <laughs> Puts you immediately in a good mood when you're sparring and, and connect with the dude. I would imagine. It's been a tough man competition. Back, back in your tough man days, you know that. Yeah, you know. <laughs> Beautiful body shot. And the hand speed, too, right? Yeah, very he good. He lands to the body, and then he goes back up top. You can tell that's just his rope combination. Bam, bam, bam. He's done right. a million times in the gym. Body, body, head. Well, his last fight against Cheeto Vera was a win, but John Lineker has got the full game back here tonight. Having fun in there, and off to a strong start through two rounds again.